Hi everybody, uh, welcome to our video. We already had an early start this morning and got to the dump with most of the interior of the car, uh, well the van rather, and we're now currently sitting outside Wix and uh, we're working out how much Celotex and insulation generally we need for the van before we go and buy it. We haven't got much footage shot in the van today so I thought what we'd do is look at um, some of the plans I've quickly made in SketchUp for the layout of the van. Hopefully I've got all my measurements correct and this all works out. Um, but I'll give you just a brief overview. So originally we were looking at having uh, wood clad in all across in natural wood colouring but we're thinking it might be a bit too dark for us so we'll probably whitewash the wood cladding once we put it up. and. Um, and this is the layout we're going for so it's going to be a fixed bed in the back it's going to be um, suspended on the steel supports hopefully um, that the side chairs were suspended on and then we're going to have this big kind of garage as people call it underneath where i'm probably going to put the batteries down here um, by the wheel arches and then have the rest of the storage what i'm thinking of doing is instead of having the clad in here is putting the side panels back on and then having some kind of fabric covering that makes a kind of a headboard and a footboard and it just kind of breaks it up a little bit across here uh, maybe clad over the top above it um, we're not quite sure yet but down the bottom if it's left as it's plain kind of uh, plastic look it's fine because if it gets scuffed it doesn't really matter in the garage area it's absolutely fine and then inside um, as you can see we, we want to have a slide out table which slides out from under the bed and then two chairs that are uh, opposite each other and that way we can do any work or we can eat together but also have a bit of a bench at the back where we can have a couple of people in and be a bit more social if required then we'll just have a little kitchen now this will overlap the door um, if I turn it around this way so you can see the, the wall this should overlap the door by quite a way so we can also point the tap outside if we need to so we can have water out, out the side of the door or just look out while we're um, cooking um, and then here we're having I'm going to leave space for a shower even though we're not going to put a shower in at this stage I think it makes sense to leave space for it and in that space we can have um, a pull out toilet and uh, potentially some hanging storage as well and the idea is that then we'll be able to slide a door across from this side here um, and form a bulkhead and completely shut off the cabin so we don't need to worry about that there's only two windows I'm going to keep actually. This one, small one in the middle on the side, and uh, the one in the door. I'm going to forward over this, this one that you can see here as well. Um, although it's nice to have a lot of light, we're going to lose a lot of cold from having so many windows. So we're going to insulate behind them and board over them. It also makes sense to be able to put a splash back up here instead of having a window, I think. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. So that's our plans. Um, now we need to look at kind of colours and things like that. Um, Jenny would like to add in some wallpaper and we're thinking this wall here on the side of the uh, to be shower would be a really good place to have like an interesting wallpaper design here and maybe bring it across and include it on the cupboards which we're saving from the original ambulance as well just so that they look a little bit nicer. Um, and then we want a matching fabric not not the same design but something that, that kind of that works with it for the headboard footboard area and also for the, the cushions which are going to go on these two chairs and the bench across here as well there's potential that i could make this bench uh pull out um sofa style to make this into another bed because i think we could probably sleep another couple here if um if we wanted to it might be a bit cramped but we'll, we'll see how we go when that um when that turns out later but yeah, basic plans, and we're just going to look at some designs and maybe put a mood board together. Arty. Well, it's about 5.15 in the morning, Sunday morning. And I got up in the night for a wee TMI. And I noticed this weird room in the back door. see this but it's a old broom handle 
and it's propped up against my back door on the back step. Now, I know I've got that broom handle, but I don't know how it got there. So now I'm worried that somebody's been in my garden. And I'm worried that I've left my back gate open and somebody's uh, robbed all my tools up. Insulation and mark out the mossy paint. Turn to get that go. Yep. So we're going to make sure that the model, which um, you probably saw earlier in this video, actually matches up to the space we've got. Fingers crossed, and that we can still move between the things that we, we lay down. So we're going to mask out what we're going to do. It's horrible weather, so there's no going to not going to be any roofing today. Um, even though we have got a new vent to go here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> oh well. Never mind. So, yeah. Oh, Jenny's wearing her pajamas. Don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> So we've marked out on the floor the layout basically that we want. So over here on the left in this square is going to be a space saved for a shower but not actually a shower so we're thinking uh, toilet and hanging clove storage. Jenny's sleepy. And then we've got this little gap here that we can walk through. And then we've got a small kitchen here and we think it'll be big enough we can get a two ring burner here and then a sink with tap here. And then we've got seats in here and a bench seat across here, which will be like lift up storage, maybe a slide out bed. I don't know if that'll work. We'll, we'll try that in a minute. And um, and then this whole space back here will be a fixed double bed area, uh, which will be raised to about the windowsill level and into these, uh, these plates. is going to lay down next to the shower and see if it's long enough to be a bed. It's not long enough to be a bed. Not quite. 
That's a shame. That's a shame. Unless we had a little dip in under our bed into a storage. And you can sleep underneath it a little bit. Squish all down. Keep squishing. Okay, stop. Squish up a little bit. Uh oh, squish up a little bit. <laughs> stop. Now I need to measure you. How tall are you? Five foot five. Five foot five. So if you put out the bed over the top to here. We could just have a dip out from here, but it's going to be a little bit shorter where the wheel arch is. Um, we could do that if we were really fussed about having an extra bed in there. Ah, I'll have a okay, you can get up there. I live! We're going to Starbucks. Why are we going to Starbucks? Because I want a chai. No. Um, <laughs> Because we need to sort out the uh, electrics um, stuff we might need. That's not our cat. Where's that come from? Um, a bit like our cat. Just be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, imposter spike. Our <laughs> cat <laughs> Hi, Spike. Welcome to our video. How are you? Me. Yes, we're going to Starbucks because I don't feel very well and I want a hot drink and we need some lunch and we need to figure out our cabling because we have discovered when we went to do the 